you agree with me, any poll that's ever been done, you'll find ordinary people, when you say to them, this person was born a boy, they have penis and, ball and, and testicles, they haven't changed their body, they've grown up, their body is identical, you know, they may have a beard, that person says that they're a woman. Are they a woman or a man? Most people will say man. But if you've been through this sort of education, you'll say woman. And those people now write our laws and our, our university policies and our education syllabuses and run our HR in all our big corporations. They are the people who've written the policies for all international sport from the International Olympic Committee down. So you will have signed, if you're a professional sports person, you will have signed a policy saying that you accept that you will be suspended or kicked out of sport if you are racist or homophobic, rightly because racism and homophobia have been very serious issues in sport, but also transphobic. And what transphobic means, including other things, is if a woman says, I don't think it's very fair that you allow this ex-Marine, who's six foot six and was born male, to come and do cage fighting with a woman, which as has just happened previously, shortly before you and I are talking, and absolutely pulverized her too. This was Alana, oh. Alana McLaughlin, the former uh, Army Special Forces um, uh, trans woman wrestler, who just, I mean, it was, it was, you know, oh, it was something country. like was the Roman circus, you know, that, that, that yeah. it was like a spectacle of watching a woman just get pulverized. Yeah. So us talking about this this way is something that every HR policy in every big company, in every university, every child who's taught in a public school and most private schools in America, all over Europe, in Canada, in Australia, in the UK, all of these places, we are being transphobic right now by recognizing that this person is male and therefore shouldn't have been in that fight with a female person, that there's an unfair advantage. And it's not just an unfair advantage. It's insane that we're even having to have this conversation. It's extremely dangerous.